Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So it looks like there is an Easter showdown coming up. There's some very good news for a lot of you guys, and there's some very bad news. So the bad news is we're getting the five purple starred Easter Bunny. The Mazda RX-7 Easter Bunny. It's actually a rocket bunny, but we all call it the Easter Bunny. This was the same Easter prize that they gave out last year. This is an amazing car. I love this car. It, it dominates live racing. If you can hit these 1,200 trophies, you're going to get a very, very, very nice car. Okay. We'll take a look at the car in a few minutes here. We'll even go, well, maybe we'll even go do a couple live races with it so you can see how amazing it is. But this is a freaking awesome car. Now, one thing that is unfortunate, Mazda parts are not easy to get, but I assume there's probably going to be some Mazda part crates coming up, which I might actually spend some of my keys on because I would love to be able to get more parts for my regular RX-7. I pulled, when I won this last year for the Easter event, I pulled a whole lot of parts out of my regular RX-7, and I, uh, and, well, now it sucks. Now it needs some more parts before it's a good car again. But, anyways, it doesn't say which car we're going to need to do the showdown. I'm not 100% sure. I think Millie made a video about the Easter event. He probably knows. I think he's, I'm pretty sure I've been hearing it's like a LB350Z or an LB Fairlady Z or something like that. I don't know. I haven't seen anything official, but... Maybe maybe check out Millie's video. Millie makes some pretty awesome stuff about updates. But uh, yeah, let's go find that car. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. We're gonna take a look at the RX-7 Easter Bunny. All right, so mine is completely upgraded, except for I'm missing two two fusion parts that I wonder if I'm ever going to get. Missing two, that's not bad at all. But this is a beautiful car. I don't know, some people may not love this color, but I really, really like these colors. I think this is awesome. Let's take this in the live race. If I'm really lucky, the problem is I have the latest update, and a lot of people don't. So I might end up in a lobby with nothing but bots. I hope that's not the case. Oh, man, it is. Because I really wanted to show you guys how this destroys everybody in live racing. But you definitely, you definitely want to get this car if if they have part crates out. And you, this is why I save my keys. I don't spend my bronze keys because I can almost guarantee you, there's going to be part crates you can buy with bronze keys. If you don't have a bunch of keys saved up, it might be really hard to get parts for this car because unfortunately, this game does not like to give out Mazda parts. It really doesn't. I must, uh, I'm guessing back last year when this was the Easter car, I'm guessing I must have spent a bunch of keys to get parts on this one because somehow I was able to max it out. And Mazda parts do not come easy. And yeah, there's nothing but bots in this room. Nothing but bots. So unfortunately, if you race a bot, you blow it away. Bottom line, it's not even worth racing a bot to show you guys what it's like so sorry about that I'm sorry about that I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on my supply cup here you know what maybe I'll maybe I'll record a little bit of the supply cup something to keep you guys busy um there it is I gotta choose this mini John Cooper mini works I think this is a really cool car or I could use the regular mini the mini Cooper S if I wanted but if you don't have the update and your game's all broken, you might want to choose the Mini Cooper S because this car sucks. After you get the update, this car runs beautiful. So here we go. I'm gonna turn that volume down more. Hopefully that wasn't. Killing your guys' ears. 
3.3. I'm going to have to play this thing back, I guess. But yeah, this is a pretty cool car overall. I like it. Here we go. I do like this car. It's very nice. It sounds like this thing is going to be just as fast as the Porsche Boxster. So this might actually end up being a car that's going to be really good for the Tempest 2 races. I know somebody asked if they should get this and I told them no, but now that now that the update's out and this car is not running like a piece of crap, yeah, you might actually want to try and get this car. Cuz it's going to be that it's going to be a very very good car. Even on stage 5, it, it gets really good points. I mean, it runs really good. It makes good respect points when you win a live race. I mean, it's got over a 1,000 Evo, so for a Tier 2 car, you don't see that too often. So it's definitely going to be a really good car for a lot of different things, I think. I'll probably just go till I run out this tank of gas and then I'll end this video but yeah you guys you guys really would it would be amazing to get that that Easter car I really I don't think if you get it though I don't think it's gonna let you strip it so if you get two you're probably gonna be stuck with a second one I'm actually amazed they didn't come out with a different car because I mean, what, nobody wants to get the same car twice in a row for an event like that. But for those of you who don't have it, that's great. That's great if you can get it. Unfortunately, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's going to be easy or hard. I think last year they gave us a free car and said, "Here, here's a car. You have to run the Easter event with this." And I don't really remember it being that hard. But this is a showdown, so this might be very different. All right, it might be, it may or may not be hard due to the fact that this is a showdown. I don't really know what to think about this. So hopefully, a lot of you guys end up getting it, because that's one of the cars that is that is worth. That's probably actually the one of the best, probably the best tier four live racing car in the game. I don't know. At least when you max it out. Mine doesn't lose. It, I don't think it's lost. I don't think it's ever lost, even to like the BR9, which is pretty much was the best live racing car. I can even beat the BR9s with that thing. And I'm pretty sure the BR9 is about the only car in this game that challenges me when I live race with that one. Now, if yours isn't maxed out, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to uh, dominate like mine does. Some cars, you got to find the sweet spot. Once you find the sweet spot, they just tear everybody up. Just like my uh, my Mustang HPE 750, it's at the sweet spot. It wins almost every live race, but I added a couple. I got a couple extra stage six parts for it. I put them on. Car ran like crap. Wouldn't win a live race at all. I retuned it. I played with it. I mean, I just couldn't get it to win a live race, so... I, I took those two stage six parts back off and now it's destroying everybody so sometimes when you find a sweet spot on your live racing car you just want to make sure you stop right there all right you just want to stop you don't want to keep going a lot of people ask me oh I see you've got fusion parts you can install on your cars why don't you put those on there well number one once I get a car to a sweet spot I really don't want to upgrade it anymore number two well, let's just say I dump a bunch of Ferrari parts into one of my a couple of my Ferraris just to put those extra parts that I really don't need to put into there. Well, what if next season's car for the Prestige Cup is a Ferrari and I just spent all the extra parts I had installing on cars that are just like sitting there and practically doing nothing that didn't really need the upgrade? Well, then I'd be having a hard time to get the 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 parts for the prestige cup next season so I always I don't install anything on a car 
if I don't feel that I need to. For example, I could care less how fast my cars are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how fast it is. Like if I take a car into a live race, it can be slow as crap, but it might run a eight second half mile, but if it beats Dino, an eight second half mile, it might, it might run a 30 second half mile, but as long as it's beating Dino, it still might be able to win those live races. You see what I'm saying? On cars like that, there's really no, no reason to upgrade though. There's really no reason to upgrade cars that you don't need to put upgrades into. Sometimes it'll come back and bite you in the butt. So for example, let's look at my inventory. Let's see how many Ferrari Fusion parts I have, alright? Um, inventory. Where is Ferrari? Alright, here's Ferrari. Now, if you'll see, I've only got three pink tires. That's not very many. I'm doing really well on everything except for the pink parts. Now, like, I got 14 body parts in pink. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to put these parts into any cars that I don't absolutely need to make faster. Because you never know when I'm going to get another car where I might need to put these parts into it for to make it fast enough to win something. So you guys get the idea, I think. You just you just don't want to don't upgrade cars if you don't need it for something unless it's what you if you pull like an amazing live racing car, upgrade it, okay? If you pull a Ferrari F40 or something like that, upgrade that thing. It, it it's totally worth it. All right? But pretty much this is what I do for my upgrades. Every season I upgrade the Prestige Cup car. When there's some sort of other event where I think I'm going to be able to do well in it and I've already got the car, I might, I may or may not upgrade that car. If I get a car that I know is amazing for live racing and I've got at least three stage six parts for it, I upgrade that car because I love a good live racing car. But generally, I upgrade one car every season, which is the Prestige Cup car. And every once in a while, I might upgrade a second car during a season. There's been a few times where I've, like, when we had that Bugatti, when we had the Bugatti event going on, I think I upgraded, like, three or four cars that season. And that is rare for me. That is rare. That's the first time I think I've ever done that. Normally, I do one, occasionally two. It's very rare that I do more than two cars in a season. But anyways... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video, so catch you guys later. See ya.